Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number seven, part one, from the June 2022 Pure Mathematics P1 GCE A level paper. This is a paper one, it's from the UK um, A level, but this relates to P4 in the International A level exam. So this is Edexcel International A level P4. Question about proof by contradiction. So this question, part two, is related to something different. So that will be if I answer it in a separate video. Part one is about proof by contradiction, which is in P4 of the IAL um, version of the exam. So it says, given that P and Q are integers such that P, Q is even, the product of P and Q is even, use algebra to prove by contradiction Okay, which is this P4 topic, that at least one of P or Q is even. So when you're doing proof by contradiction, you've got to, first of all, you've got to assume what contradicts the statement. So we're going to assume that P and Q are integers. Okay, so that's what we're going to assume, that they're integers. Okay, such that... The product of P and Q, P, Q is even, okay, the product P, Q is even, and both P and Q are odd, both P and Q are odd, are odd numbers, okay, so that contradicts the original statement, okay, What's the contradiction? What What's like the opposite of saying at least one or of P or Q is even? Well, that they're both odd. Okay, so now we've got to prove that this leads to a situation which doesn't make any sense. That, con that basically contradicts what we said, right? So now, if P and Q are both odd numbers, then we can say let P equals, for example, 2A plus 1. That's an odd number, right? Where A is in a element of the integers. Okay, so A is um, an integer. So 2A plus 1, this is something which is odd. And let Q equal 2B plus 1, where B is also an element of the integers. Okay, so this is, of course, something odd as well, when you have 1 more than a multiple of 2. So... These two will represent, you know, different odd numbers multiplied together. What, what you should not really do is say 2n plus 1 and then well, q also 2n plus 1. Then, yeah, they're both odd numbers, but they're both the same odd number. Here, they're, you know, any you know, variation of different odd numbers. Okay, so they could be the same, they could be different, depending on the value of a and b. All right, so now let's show that the product pq, so p times q is equal to 2a plus 1 times 2b plus 1, which gives us 2a times 2b, which is 4ab, 2a times a, which is plus 2a, 1 times 2b, which is plus 2b, okay, and then you're going to have 1 plus 1, 1 times 1, which is 1. All right, so from here we can take out a common factor of 2 in the first three terms. Say so 2 is common, all right, and we're left with 2ab, plus a plus b, close up bracket, plus 1. So we end up with 2 times an integer plus 1. So this is something definitely which is odd. Okay, so there's a contradiction because we said that pq are integers such that the product of pq is even. Okay, but here the product of pq is odd, we've shown. Okay, this is a contradiction. Prediction as PQ is odd, okay, we said it's going to be even. Therefore, our statement is false. Our statement is false. And the original statement is true. The original statement must be true. 
the original statement must be true. Okay, so we can state here that if P and Q is even, P times Q is even, then either P or Q or both P and Q must be even. Okay, so that's proved that statement by contradiction. Okay, so it's quite a simple little proof there. It's worth three marks. So you first assume the opposite of what the question is stating. Okay, and then you show that leads to a contradiction. That, you know, when we chose them both as odd numbers, we found the answer was also odd, not even. So therefore, the original statement must be true. So that's the answer to this question. Other questions from the um, from this particular paper that I collect together, I'll collect them in the playlist over here. Other questions from the topic of proofs from P4, proof by contradiction, can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section. You can um, subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link, and you can click on the video link over here, which it tells you how to use my channel in an effective manner. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.